Hello YouTube, it's Acrobat again, and today we're getting the update for the SP404 MK2 that I've been hoping and wishing for ever since I first got this one. We're now able to use the chromatic mode inside of the pattern sequencer, we're also getting a new step sequencer, a bunch of new effects, a few improvements to the DJ mode, and a few more shortcuts and stuff that makes things a little bit easier to work with, in general. I'm really excited about this one, so let's just get into it. Accurate Beats, Accurate beats. Alright, so the fact that the chromatic mode now works with the pattern sequencer is huge for someone like me. I use a lot of samples, but all of a sudden I want to add a bass line or a melody or something, and I want to be able to play notes in a logical way, which is now way easier than before. Let's take this one, a single C note, let's get into chromatic mode, and that's how that works, right? In this case, the sample plays back polyphonically, but I can also switch that into mono, or legato, which plays the sample from start to end, but changes the pitch over time. And if I don't like how the sample itself sounds when it gets pitched around like this, that can also be changed with a few different algorithms that's been added in this new update. And that can be found over here in the pitch and speed setting, and this is where we can control stuff that has to do with the engine that controls the pitch shifting and time stretching. And this is vinyl mode turned on. Let's turn it off. That's worse. Now let's try vinyl mode off and vary set to backing. And vinyl off and vary set to ensemble. This is actually a version of Roland's own very phrase technology that they've used in different pieces of hardware before. It's cool to have a version of it in here, and even though it might seem like a small thing in an example like this, this actually makes a big difference when you're trying to push the limits of how much a sample can be pitched around. Ensemble seems to work better for more sustained notes with a lot of tonality to them, and backing seems to be better for percussive sounds. Another new feature inside of the chromatic mode is that we can now actually play scales from the pads themselves. In this case, just chromatic, or maybe a major scale, minor, Dorian, and yet another one that I'm not really sure what it is. Now let's record some notes into the pattern sequencer, just because I can. So let's get out of this, let's set this one up right there. 85 BPM for 4 bars, and let's turn the grid off. Let's hit rec again, and wait for the countdown, and put it into rehearsal mode. And now I have all the time in the world to look for my sample, put that into chromatic mode, and get ready to record. Turn it off, hit exit, and notice that the sequencer is still playing. Which means that I could start adding even more instruments or samples on top of this without having to stop the sequencer, so that's also kind of cool. But another one of the new features here is that we're now getting a step sequencer inside of the SP404 MK2. So let's start this pattern sequencer again, and hit shift and rec, and here we are. It plays like this, and follows along like that. So let's go to the start here, and let's select a kick drum. Let's put it there and there. Maybe like that. Let's keep adding it over here. Back to the start. Let's take the snare. Let's put it over there, there. Now the hi-hat, like that. So a nice and simple, pretty straightforward step sequencer, right? But this one actually has a few tricks up its sleeve that makes it both dynamic and really fun to work with. So in the step sequencer, we can add sub-steps to each individual hit, we can change the pitch, the velocity, the shuffle, and the start point of the sample. So let's add four sub-steps to the first two hi-hats in the pattern, like that. Maybe on that one. Let's do two like that, for that and that hit.
And this system of substeps kind of reminds me a lot of what we saw on the T8 beat machine in the Compact series. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar, and it's cool to get it in here too. And again, since all these different settings can be adjusted per individual step on the step sequencer, things can become really dynamic and fun to work with like that. I'll tend to use step sequencing kind of like this myself, for drums and percussion more than anything else. But for people who want to use more melodic patterns and write melodies and stuff with the step sequencer, can also do that with this new update. By hitting remain here while the step sequencer is running, we're entering something called hold step. The hold step setting up here is basically just the length of the sample, and we can also adjust the pitch and the velocity of course. And that way program stuff like bass lines and melodies and whatever you want inside of the step sequencer as well. Now let's get into some of the new effects that's being added in this new update, because they sound really cool. Let's apply them to the drums as well as my chords. Like that, and MFX page 3. The first one is called SX Reverb, and it sounds like that. The next one is called SX Delay. The third one is called Cloud Delay, and this is what it does. And we also have Backspin. There's also a new effect here that we can apply to the input called Harmony, which comes in useful sometimes. And the skip back functionality that I was really excited to see on this one when it first came out has now also been extended. Let's go Utility, System, General, SBS Time and change that one to Long instead of Default. And just like that, the skip back sampling has been extended to 40 seconds, which is really cool. And there's a shortcut here that I just have to tell you about real quick. Holding shift and pressing exit sends a stop value to the device and actually stops the playback of everything that's going on in the pattern sequencer or a sample that plays back and you just want it to stop or whatever like that. Super useful and super helpful. I use it all the time. Shift, exit, that's a good one. And you know, that's about it when it comes to this new update for the SP404 Mark II. There's way more stuff to be discovered here, of course, and this update is totally free, so make sure to download it yourself and check it out. For someone like me, an update like this means that I'm going to be able to use my SP way more than I already have. And I'm already using it a lot, so that says something. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one too. Until then, ha det gott! Accurate beats. Accurate beats. Accurate beats.